there's lots of what I call fluff and nonsense around climate change, but we're actually doing nothing seriously to reduce our emissions, to eliminate our use of fossil fuels. Climate change being our biggest challenge across everything, to me it feels only natural that music sees that topic. 70 to 80% of the carbon emissions of an event can be from audience transport. It's not just festivals that need to change, it's the entire systems that we're operating on. It was kind of experiencing uh, eco-anxiety. I didn't feel like I could do anything, I didn't know what to do. So this is Nick and this is me starting on the song Cycle to Glastonbury. Uh, wish me luck. I'm going to take out all of the things I would usually, if I was playing a gig in Whelan's, what would I bring? I filled the whole guard with that stuff. The tent, and all the guitar bits, and I had all my clothes and a computer, and then I got my bike and I thought, okay, we have to find a version of all of this that fits onto this. There are definitely compromises on, on aesthetics and hygiene. So we were in our 20s and I was about 23 and Nick was about 25. We're forming what you wear and your identity in a sea, an ocean of other people and trying to keep ourselves as songwriters afloat in that. And it's a sort of formative thing in how we approach music and how we do what we do. I'd sort of said, I've got this mad idea about cycling to Glastonbury and we'll get to sort of do a tour and it'll be really interesting. And he was completely up for that. But the thing is, I don't actually like music festivals, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't really enjoy them, you know. But Nick adores music festivals. He loves the whole thing. He loves camping. <laughs> camping. Enthusiasm, you know, you, you can't buy it, you know. We're here for a short time, then we're gone. And Nick's enthusiasm is just hilarious. The 1922 Constitution didn't even mention God, let alone the Catholic Church. John was pure gold. In politics, he was sort of, he was extra special. It's like strangers would say, oh, you're John Kelly's son. I think I was very interested in defining myself and finding some success. There wasn't anything to do with him. He retired at the age of 58. And then, uh, and then in the January he died. I think the whole of my 59th year, I was thinking, will I make it to the end, actually? I feel all the time, uh, you know, from now on, is unmarked territory. And I feel there's a kind of a thing of, I have this extra time, don't waste it. You, you get to this age and, you know, you look back and at some level you're thinking, well, what, you know, what actually are you achieving? Cycling very slowly across Wales with great difficulty and playing small gigs to very, very small groups of people. It's, a, it's like Don Quixote, like it's, it's kind of a ridiculous thing in a way. But if a man of advancing middle years can cycle to Glastonbury across Wales, maybe, maybe it just starts a conversation. Bristol from Cardiff, that day nearly killed me. The hills going in for about the last 10k. If I'd been hydrated enough, I would have cried. We're supposed to be soundtracking now. Where's Nick? Were we insane doing this? 